Welcome to this episode of Last Epoch Explained. Let's talk about corruption. Now, corruption is an endgame system that's tied within another endgame system. And when you first enter the endgame after completing the base campaign of Last Epoch, you're going to start doing timelines and completing the echoes within these timelines. Timelines are these side stories that are chunks of story you could consider adjacent to the main story. Now the echoes that you find within these timelines are these bite-sized mixed and match different tile sets that you've experienced throughout the game so far with a random assortment of enemies and modifiers. And now you increase your corruption by defeating shades and shades can be found far out and close by while you're completing timelines and completing these echoes. However, the shades that you fight that are nearby the starting area in an echo within a timeline, those decrease corruption and the ones on the far outside of the echo web increase corruption. And the further you go, typically the more corruption that these shades that you defeat within these echoes within these timelines give you. Now within regular timelines, which is what you'll be interacting with as soon as you finish the campaign, corruption increases item rarity, it increases experience gain, monster health and monster damage, and how much timeline stability that you get from completing certain echoes. Now in the standard timelines that you'll be interacting with directly after completing the campaign, corruption also increases the area level within the echoes within those timelines. However, when you make a certain amount of progress within the end game, you'll unlock empowered timelines that are level 100, which is the max level that something can be in Last Epoch. And so in empowered timelines, corruption only does all the previous things, but not increase the area level. However, in exchange for this loss of functionality in empowered timelines, as opposed to standard timelines, corruption in empowered timelines, in addition to everything else, now also increase the rarity of the guaranteed echo rewards. Now corruption in empowered timelines can stack up infinitely. And well, that means that no matter how long you play the game, there will always be a challenge for you to complete. But with all the different sources of scaling in Last Epoch, I'm sure you'll be able to overcome a large amount. I'm pretty sure the community actively keeps track of the highest ever corruption recorded. So if that's one of your goals, to have the highest corruption ever seen in Last Epoch and be able to be completed by your character, that's that's a laudable goal and I wish you good luck. Now the whole purpose of this system is to offer player agency when it comes to leveling up towards the late game and deciding how challenging you want the game to be depending on how strong you feel at any certain time and these timelines after you complete them will also give you access to blessings which we've gone over in a previous video and blessings in the simplest of terms are permanent buffs that you get to discover and attach to your character now there are many different types of echoes and there are a tons of echo rewards that are indicated by the icon shown on the echo once you're in that echo web screen so you can see after you complete an echo whether it's going to give you gold whether it's going to give you a unique item whether it's going to give you more experience points go into the echo you'll complete the echo a little thing will pop up saying do you want to leave you can leave anytime you want however there is an option on most echoes to gain bonus stability as a reward for completing that echo by killing a large percentage of the monsters present within the echo. This usually amounts to about 80 to 90% of the monsters that spawn within an echo, and they're not tucked away into far corners and they're usually along a main path, so you won't have to venture too far out of your way to acquire this bonus stability while you're going along and just doing the main objective in these echoes. Now the main objective of echoes can vary, but it's usually either one of three things, survive a certain amount of waves or time, uh, a weird kind of king of the hill type joint going on or defeat certain marked enemies that will show up on your mini map as those marked enemies now if you're wondering what the whole purpose of all these systems are it's to help you drop better items and once you start stacking up corruption and a multitude of enemy modifiers in the late game in empowered timelines especially you're going to start dropping a hell of a lot of good items with really high rolls, high legendary potential, and high weaver's will amounts. And those are some systems that we'll have to talk about in another episode, but just know stacking up corruption in the late game, seeing how far you can push your character, it's a hell of a good time. And for myself, as soon as 1.0 comes out, I'm gonna see just how far I can push in hardcore, which scares me, but I'm gonna love every second of it. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Last Epoch Explained. I'll see you in the next one.